E-mini S&Ps open the week nudging higher, trading up to 58.70, slightly higher from Friday's close, amid a narrower trading range and a quiet session. Data-wise, we didn't have a whole lot of data on the calendar. That will change, obviously, later this week when we get GDP, PCE, and non-farm payroll numbers. But interesting to know that since we put in the 5,800 low last Wednesday, it has been a slow and steady creep higher for stocks. Again, seeing it culminate and move higher today to 58.70, up slightly from Friday's close. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, as we've talked about historically, as equity indices move higher, volatility tends to do the opposite. That's what happened this, uh, this morning. We saw the equity indices moving higher, volatility nudging lower. It is still holding at the midpoint of the three-month range, so it hasn't seen a huge move lower, despite the fact that equities remain near all-time highs. Lastly, let's talk about what we do have tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We'll get consumer confidence, the jolts data, home prices, and then we'll be keeping an eye out for earnings, and some of the bigger names include Pfizer, Visa, and Google. So opening up the week, we see E-minis creeping ever so much higher amid a narrower trading range, waiting for more clarity, not only from the data, but from the Fed and U.S. elections next week. But tomorrow we get the consumer confidence, home prices, jolts, and more earnings.